spiritual development plays an important part in the making of a United States Marine. Lieutenant Commander Ulysses L. Yabalde, Chaplain Corps, United States Navy, will deliver the graduation prayer. Ladies and gentlemen, please rise. Let us pray. Father, today is a special day in the life of these new United States Marines. As they graduate, we pray that they will be strong and courageous, believing that you have called them and are always with them. We ask that they would be bold and stand for what is right, even if it means standing alone. Equip them for every purpose and journey you have in store, so that they would live as mighty warriors in this life for your purposes. We pray that when they encounter various struggles and difficult times, when they experience loss and things don't go their way, that you would teach them greater perseverance through it all. Build deeper character, stronger faith, and use any hardship in their lives for ultimate good, turning it around for blessing instead. We ask for your powerful boldness and courage to face every challenge set before them with the confidence and peace that can only come from your spirit. Raise up greatness within their lives, greatness in this generation. May they be willing to stand strong and true, passionate for you, believing that you have designed them for purpose and good works, which you have planned and prepared in advance for them to do. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord let his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. And may the Lord look upon you kindly and give you peace. Amen. Thank you. Please be seated. Take it, go. The Commanding General, Marine Corps Crew Depot San Diego, welcomes you to what is a historic event in the life of a Marine. Their graduation from boot camp, approximately 40 weeks each year for the past 100 years, new Marines have departed San Diego for service with units of the Marine Corps around the globe. The primary mission of the Recruit Depot is to provide basic training to recruits enlisted west of the Mississippi, which represents approximately 51% of all applicants in the Marine Corps each year. The Depot is also home to recruiter school, and Drill Instructor School. All our efforts here are geared toward one end, producing America's finest fighting force, the United States Marines. This morning, Company F, 2nd Recruit Training Battalion, Recruit Training Regiment, will form and march in the parade. Following the passing review, the graduating Marines will return front and center of the reviewing stand for final dismissal. The staff for today's parade is comprised of Marines from the Recruit Training Regiment. The Commander of Troops is Captain Andrew E. Luwaniak, Company Commander, Company F, 2nd Recruit Training Battalion. The Parade Adjutant is Captain John P. Cliff III, Executive Officer, Company F, 2nd Recruit Training Battalion, Recruit Training Regiment. The marching units are now being called to attention and the adjutant's command, sound adjutant's call, will begin today's parade. Marching in today's parade are 471 of the graduating Marines from Company F. Among the 471 Marines are two Marines who displayed outstanding performances in two individually graded events. Private First Class Danilo C. Reyes from Platoon 2134 is the company high shooter, scoring a 333 out of 350. Private Michael A. Martinez from Platoon 2134 is the most physically fit Marine, scoring a 300 out of 300 on the physical fitness test and the combat fitness test. They will be receiving awards from the Marine Corps Association and Foundation. Present today is the company honor graduates recruiter, Sergeant Jonathan R. Savage. 
not present today, but worth recognizing is the primary marksmanship instructor with a platoon high shooting average of 218 out of 250 for platoon 2134, Sergeant Zornef El Yabao. Recruit training is comprised of subjects required to produce basic Marines who function effectively in garrison, are trained in rudimentary individual field and combat skills, and practice the personal and professional traits which distinguish them as Marines. Examples of these traits are Discipline, the achievement of a state of discipline which assures respect for authority, instant and willing obedience to orders, and the self-reliance to maintain or improve those traits which exemplify a Marine. Military bearing, consistently demonstrating military presence and personal awareness, as well as the proper wearing and maintenance of uniforms. Esprit de corps, acquiring the common spirit of the Marine Corps that inspires enthusiasm, devotion, pride, initiative, teamwork, aggressiveness, determination, moral courage, integrity, camaraderie, and the burning desire to work with and for others toward excellence and common goals. For 246 years, Marines have fought and won whenever and wherever the nation calls, in the harshest conditions, over the most brutal terrain, and against the most formidable enemies, Marines defend the ideals of freedom with grit and tenacity. Though battlefields change and capabilities evolve, history proves that true victory comes from the individual Marine with steeled resolve, the drive to overcome any obstacle, and the warrior spirit to fight on against all odds. It takes that steadfast faithfulness, semper fidelis, to core, country, and each other that abounds throughout our storied legacy. Marines today remain in combat, forward deployed throughout the world, confronting every challenge with courage, loyalty, and faithfulness. They are resolved to be most ready when the nation is least ready to defend freedom anytime and anywhere, to stand ready to aid those devastated by natural disasters, to pay tribute to those who have forged our proud legacy, and to honor the families and loved ones who faithfully stand beside us. For the Marines of Company F, today marks the end of the 13-week recruit training cycle. They have marched countless miles at Camp Pendleton and on this parade deck, and have been trained as are all Marines, as basic riflemen. In addition, due to an intensive physical training program, their strength and endurance have doubled since their arrival aboard the recruit depot. Their Marines qualified to take their places in the ranks of the world's finest fighting organization. The platoons are now being aligned from left to right in order to get them into their exact positions for the parade.
The next portion of the ceremony will be our national anthem. We welcome veterans and members of the armed forces to join us in rendering appropriate honors with a military salute. For guests who have not served in the military, it is proper etiquette during the national anthem to place their right hand over their hearts and for those in the audience wearing headgear to remove it. Will the guests please rise for the presentation of the colors. Ladies and gentlemen, our national anthem. Thank you. Please be seated. Following the command, Parade Rest, the Parade Adjutant will give the command sound off, which signals the band to parade forward of the assembled Marines while playing military marching music.
The parade adjutant now presents the assembled command to the commander of troops. At the command, officers center march. All unit commanders and guide on bearers march to the front and center of the formation. Historically, it was at this point that commanding officers would issue orders and instructions to the unit commanders. Following this, the unit leaders would face about, return to their units, and pass the information along to their Marines.
Throughout our nation's history, millions of men and women have earned the title United States Marine. Many who have helped shape our history join us here today. In keeping with the tradition of once a Marine, always a Marine, we would like to recognize them. At this time, those in the audience who have served as Marines, please rise. Ladies and gentlemen, a round of applause for their dedicated service to Corps and country. Thank you. Please be seated. Ladies and gentlemen, the Battalion Commander for 2nd Recruit Training Battalion, Lieutenant Colonel James R. Smith. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. On behalf of Brigadier General Jason L. Morris, the Commanding General of Marine Corps Recruit Depot San Diego and the Western Recruiting Region, as well as on behalf of Colonel Joseph W. Jones, the Commanding Officer of the Recruit Training Regiment, welcome to the graduation of Company F. I'd like to begin today by recognizing a few groups vital to our mission accomplishment. First and foremost, to you, the friends and families of these new Marines, thank you for your love and support on their journey to this momentous day. You laid the foundation that allowed them to take the initial steps towards becoming a Marine. Your love and support sustained them during their training here and will continue to be a source of strength in their new vocation. Welcome to the Marine Corps family. To the families of the Company F staff, seated to the right of the reviewing stand, no one knows more than you the time and dedication it takes to transform a civilian into a Marine. Sergeant Major and I are deeply grateful for your sacrifice and support, which enables these drill instructors and officers to perform this critical task. Ladies and gentlemen, a round of applause for the families of Company F. I'd also like to recognize today's parade reviewing official, Lieutenant General Smith, whose impressive value you will hear shortly and who currently serves as the commanding general of the 1st Marine Expeditionary Force at Camp Pendleton, California. Sir, it's an honor to have you here. Thank you for joining us. You know, making Marines is truly a team effort, and at the forefront of that effort are Marine recruiters stationed around this great country. These men and women work tirelessly to identify, educate, and inspire the next generation of Marines. This legion of recruiters are represented today by Sergeant Wilson from recruiting substation Oak Lawn, Illinois, who is responsible for guiding the company honor graduate, Lance Corporal Roman, into our Corps. Our other partner in this endeavor are the instructors at Weapons Field Training Battalion, who teach the critical combat skills necessary to fight and win in any climate place. They are represented today by Sergeant Yabao, the primary marksmanship instructor for the company High Shooter, Private First Class Reyes. Ladies and gentlemen, a round of applause for our recruiters and our combat instructors. Gentlemen, well done. The last group I'd like to recognize certainly need no introduction. For everyone knows the distinct campaign cover of a legendary Marine Corps drill instructor. And from the moment your loved one arrived here, there has been a drill instructor with them 24 hours a day, seven days a week, tirelessly instilling the qualities and esprit de corps of a United States Marine and leaving an indelible mark on those they lead. Trust me, your Marine will never forget the name, the face, or the gentle, loving voice of their drill instructors. Now these Marines behind me are on average 19-year-old high school graduates, and one has a college degree. They come to us from every state and territory in the Western Recruiting Region and 10 countries around the world, as far away as Japan, Ethiopia, and Ukraine. And when they raised their right hand and swore an oath to support and defend the Constitution of the United States, they differentiated themselves from 99% of their peers. Upon arrival, these drill instructors forged them in the fires of martial discipline and shape their minds and bodies in the mold of generations of Marines who have worn our cloth. They prove themselves capable of carrying heavy loads long distances over rugged terrain with minimal food and sleep to be where they're needed, when they're needed, to accomplish any mission. Now, moms and dads, you may have noticed some change in your new Marine. They stand a little taller, look a little leaner, sport an outstanding Marine Corps haircut. And I promise they know how to make their beds. But the truly important change is the one that has taken place within, for they have been immersed in our core values of honor, courage, and commitment. 
and by virtue of standing here today, they have embraced those as their own. And it is because of this, because of the journey they have undergone, and because of the moral, mental, and physical development that they have displayed, that I am pleased to present 471 young men who can forever proudly claim the title of United States Marine. And if you'd excuse me, I'd like to address our nation's newest Marines. Good morning, Marines. Sergeant Major and I are incredibly proud of you. We've watched you learn, strive, and grow these past months, and we are pleased to welcome you to our ranks. When you stepped on those yellow footprints, you affirmed a commitment of selfless service to our Corps. These drill instructors fanned a flame inside of you, and now we trust you will keep it burning bright. You can be justifiably proud of what you've accomplished here. You earned your tan belt in our martial arts program. Some of you learned to swim for the first time in our water survival training, and many of you overcame a fear of heights in our confidence and obstacle course. You learned weapons employment to deliver precision fires on targets from a staggering distance of 500 yards. And in a final test, you completed the grueling three-day crucible, where you were required to display exemplary character, physical and mental toughness, the ability to decide, act, and communicate, leadership and a warfighter spirit. And every Marine, past and present, expects you to display those same attributes in your future trials. And so having completed the longest and most grueling recruit training on this globe, you're ready to carry on our Marine Corps tradition as America's Naval Expeditionary Force in readiness. As you go forward on the next leg of your journey, I implore you to be safe, be smart, and make good decisions. Remember that that Eagle Globe and Anchor pressed into the palm of your hand atop the Reaper represents 246 years of Marines who have come before. You must always be worthy of that legacy and protect what you would have earned. And so on behalf of the Marines, sailors and civilians here aboard Recruit Depot San Diego, let me be the first to offer you a traditional naval parting of fair winds and following seas. Congratulations, Marines. Semper Fidelis, and welcome to our Corps. Now taking their position in the reviewing area is today's parade reviewing official, Lieutenant General George W. Smith, Jr., Commanding General, 1st Marine Expeditionary Force. He is accompanied by Brigadier General Jason L. Morris, Commanding General for Marine Corps Recruit Depot San Diego and the Western Recruiting Region. Ladies and gentlemen, please rise for honors and remain standing for the firing of the cannons in honor of Lieutenant General Smith, Jr.
Thank you. Please be seated. Lieutenant General George W. Smith, Jr., Commanding General, 1st Marine Expeditionary Force. Lieutenant General Smith was commissioned in the United States Marine Corps in 1985, following graduation from the NROTC program at the University of North Carolina at Chapel Hill. He graduated from the basic school and the infantry officer's course, earning the military occupational specialty of 0302, infantry officer. Lieutenant General Smith has served in a variety of challenging billets in numerous commands to include series commander and company commander for Fox Company at Marine Corps Crew Depot, San Diego, inspector instructor at 4th Force Reconnaissance Company, future operations planner G3 and G5 at 1st Marine Expeditionary Force, Deputy Operations Officer at 1st Marine Division, Commanding General at Marine Air Ground Task Force Training Command and Marine Corps Air Ground Combat Center, 29 Palms, Senior Military Assistant to the Secretary of Defense, and Deputy Commandant at Plans, Policies, and Operations, Headquarters Marine Corps. Lieutenant General Smith currently serves as the Commanding General for 1st Marine Expeditionary Force. Lieutenant General Smith has been privileged to serve in commands that have been awarded the Presidential Unit Citation, the Joint Meritorious Unit Award, the Navy Unit Commendation, and the Meritorious Unit Commendation. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Lieutenant General George W. Smith, Jr. More than a million Marines have been trained here in the past 100 years and have departed San Diego for combat in conflicts around the world, including places whose names are immediately associated with Marine courage and dedication. Names such as Guadalcanal, Tarawa, Iwo Jima, Pusan, Inchon, Chosen Reservoir, Quezon, Way City, Lebanon, Granada, Panama, Kuwait, Somalia, Fallujah, Ramadi, Marja, Sangen, and our most current operations worldwide. This parade deck is rich in history and tradition, and no Marine trained here ever forgets its sights and sounds.
Ladies and gentlemen, the Commander of Troops, Captain Andrew E. Luaniak, Company Commander and the Regimental Staff. Marine Ben San Diego, Marine Corps Group Depot, San Diego, California. Series 2,129, Series Commander, Captain Kalen T. Vegan. Platoon 2,129, Senior Drill Instructor, Staff Sergeant Tyler M. Bohannon. Platoon 2130, Senior Drill Instructor Sergeant Jonathan R. Savage. Platoon 2131. Senior Drill Instructor, Staff Sergeant Carlos E. Azacarate. The Regimental Color Guard is led by the Regimental Color Sergeant, Drill Instructor, Sergeant Demarcus Hill. Series 2133, Series Commander, Captain Taylor Z. Nee, and Honor Platoon 2133, Senior Drill Instructor, Sergeant Margonzo W. Bowie. Platoon 2134, Senior Drill Instructor, Staff Sergeant, Kaliasi J. Tamale. Platoon 2135, Senior Drill Instructor Gunnery Sergeant Eric C. Regan.
ladies and gentlemen, if you per turn to page 21 of your graduation pamphlets, you will find the Marine's Hymn. The Marine's Hymn has a history dating back to 1859. It is a long-standing tradition for Marines to face the direction of the music and stand at attention when it is heard. It is now directed that all Marines present and to have served honorably, and ladies and gentlemen, you are all encouraged to join. Sing the words to the first verse as Marine Band San Diego performs Anchors Away, followed by the Marine's Hymn. Will the guests please rise? and strength as an elite fighting force is directly attributable to the magnificent efforts of the drill instructors and company officers who train and supervise the recruits. The distinct qualities of spirit and discipline, the heart and soul of every Marine, have been developed, nurtured, and ingrained in recruits through their observance and relationship with their drill instructors and officers. Recruit training is the very foundation of the Corps. Each year, recruit training provides thousands of America's finest young men and women with the basic knowledge and skills to function in a profession characterized by its own set of high values and tough standards. The most important thing we do in the Marine Corps is make Marines. The individual Marine is the Corps. That is what we do here. For the Marines graduating today, the long, arduous journey of the last 13 weeks is but a small step into the future of the Marine Corps. As they prepare to fill the ranks of our Corps, they do so with unquestionable support for the high ideals and standards of the United States of America and the United States Marine Corps. Although Company F prepares for their final dismissal from boot camp today, their initial training is not over. Soon after graduation, they will report to the School of Infantry, Camp Pendleton, California, where they will continue to be trained to serve as an effective member of a Marine Rifle Squad. The intense initial training that every Marine undergoes is designed to instill the fundamental premise that every Marine is a rifleman. Ladies and gentlemen, at this time, we would like to introduce to you the Marines responsible for ensuring the success of the difficult transition required to become a Marine. The company commander is Captain Andrew E. Lewaniak. The company first sergeant is First Sergeant Jose D. Ruiz. Ladies and gentlemen, please join me in a round of applause for the company staff of Company F. The 
next portion of the ceremony will be the traditional function of retiring, the guidons. The guidons have been carried by the platoons throughout recruit training and are being retired to symbolize the disbanding of platoons. All similar units in the Marine Corps carry such guidons, which identify the unit and are a source of pride to each individual member. Note that the honor of carrying these guidons is bestowed upon those Marines who display outstanding leadership qualities, motivation, and character and were selected as the platoon honor graduates. The platoon honor graduates compete for the titles of series and company honor graduates. They're considered the top Marines graduating today and have demonstrated the highest potential for future leadership and responsibility in the Marine Corps. The guidons will now be returned to the drill instructors. graduates will now be presented a plaque by the battalion commander lieutenant colonel smith and the battalion sergeant major sergeant major valdez ladies and gentlemen please hold your applause until all honor graduates have been recognized present Port. The honor graduate for platoon 2129 is Private First Class Dustin J. Latru from Sioux City, Iowa. The honor graduate for platoon 2130 and the company honor graduate is Lance Corporal Pedro Roman from Chicago, Illinois. Lance Corporal Roman is also the recipient of the Chesty Puller Award for his outstanding meritorious performance while in recruit training. The honor graduate for platoon 2131 is Private First Class Austin M. Barlow from Oakdale, Minnesota. The honor graduate for platoon 2133 is Private First Class Nathaniel A. Williams from San Angelo, Texas. The honor graduate for platoon 2134 is Private First Class Brandon A. Talton from Fort Worth, Texas. 
And the honor graduate for Platoon 2135 and the series honor graduate is Private First Class Gary A. Boydward from Detroit, Michigan. Ladies and gentlemen, the honor graduates of Company F. Company fresh out of The company first sergeant will now give the command to the senior drill instructors to dismiss their platoons. Needless to say, this will be the most welcome command they have received throughout recruit training. Ladies and gentlemen, this concludes today's ceremony. <laughs>